Hello, and welcome to this New England beer tasting. Today, from Treehouse Brewing Company out of Massachusetts, I have Double Ganger, which comes in at 8.2%. ABV and it is stated to be an American double IPA um, This beer was uh, brought over by a friend of mine Alan, so I do want to uh, Say a big thanks to Alan for bringing this over for me to try. Um, I do have a treehouse glass to pour this into and uh, Let's go ahead and Get this going. Uh, it's got uh, kind of like a dark purple with like a, a little bit of a lighter purple treehouse um, brewing company symbol in the uh, thing. Um, so yeah, this is uh, like another variation of their doppelganger, which is a variation of something else, I believe. So let's go ahead. Uh, first time having this. Just knowing Treehouse is probably going to be hazy, um, even though it's not stated. But I do know what I'm getting into with most Treehouse beers, as far as the New England style IPA type deal. Um, the bubbles on the head are fairly tight. There are some medium ones kind of mixed in. The coloration of it, and yeah, we'll just call it white it kind of looks a little bit like it has a yellow hue to it but that could just be lighting on my end uh the color of the beer itself is kind of like a like an orange yellow grapefruit type maybe pineapple juice looking uh color so it's uh, it's kind of an orange anyways um deep gold orange very murky looking body, the aromas, pear, peach, might be a hint of a pineapple in there as well, a little bit of a, of a citrus nose also. And picking up on uh, some some malt sweetness, um, kind of smells like it might be kind of uh, weedy or bready like. So decent aromas to it. It doesn't. Uh, it's nothing that's like a big old blast where I can pick it up from far away. You kind of have to get in there, but it does have an array of aroma. So going for the first swig. Cheers. First, I'm going to have to say, I think I was picking up on a, like a passion fruit flavor. Kind of like a, a passion fruit pear. Maybe sliding into papaya. Coming up with like kind of a, a wheat flavor out of the, uh, the grist. It's got a pretty thick mouth to be able to do it. Quite uh, soft. Say it's probably uh, at least like a, I'm gonna go with a, a full full body on this. Uh, carbonation. Highlight pushing medium carbonation level.
All right. Let me go ahead and uh, give it some scoring. All right. So I am back. Um, this is leaving some some decent lacing and stuff on the glass. Um, so the appearance, I gave it a full six out of six. Fine, um, even though it's not stated as being a New England IPA or being hazy. I Like I stated, um, I do know Treehouse, and they, it's pretty much their style when it comes to making an IPA. Um, the aromas on this, um, they were decent. Like I said, I could pick up on stuff. I just wish that there was more potency to it, I guess. Um, gave it an 8 out of 10 still for aroma. The flavors, it has like a good balance between the uh, the hop flavors, the bitterness, the malt, um, but overall I just think the flavors I was getting, uh, you know, kind of that like pear, papaya, Slight bit of like a passion fruit. I just, I don't know. I, I, it's just dull. It's dull. Those are kind of just dull flavors to me. Um, so, overall, on the flavor, I just gave it a 17 out of 19. Uh, the body being like pretty much a, a very high medium to a full body, I would say, give it a full 5 out of 5. Has a nice uh, creamy softness to it. My overall impression of this um, is mostly based off of the uh, the aroma and flavor and stuff. Um, I definitely had better New England style IPAs. I've had better double New England style IPAs, um, in my own opinion. Um, so I gave this an overall impression of a seven out of ten. So still good. So, the Double Ganger from Treehouse Brewing Company gets a bumpy score of 43 out of 50. Still lands us at an excellent beer. Uh, so thanks guys for watching and cheers.